night's episode, your mom opened up about her um, past abusive relationships. Will that affect you and how you approach future relationships? How and why? I think recently being in this relationship with Nathan, I mean, of course, all my other relationships, obviously they were bad, but this one really opened my eyes a lot because it's like, I don't know, I've never just, I've never been treated so poorly or disrespected. And um, I think he just showed me all the qualities of a man that you don't want. And I think it taught me a huge lesson and I'm looking to focus towards my future and my kids. And I'm not looking to date anytime soon. If someone pops up in my life, then so be it. But I'm not gonna go looking for anybody. Right. Your mom was really persistent on her belief that you were downplaying the fight with uh, Nathan. And mm -hmm. um, what's the truth but behind all of that, like with the ring? And well, you know, well, the truth, you know, the truth is what I did say that he did wrestle me for the ring. But I mean, I didn't feel, I mean, I've been in past abusive, abusive relationships. I got physical and he, he didn't scare me really. You know what I mean? I mean, there is a point in time where, you know, when someone abuses you, you can tell if they're trying to hurt you or if they're, if they have another motive and his motive was just to get the ring and honestly wasn't to hurt me and I know that but I mean after that incident happened we've had multiple altercations where he has scared me and that led up to you know you know just more and more problems in our relationship and you know why we're not together now and what would you say to people who are who might think that you're making excuses for him because you know the situations where a woman kind of make excuses for the abusive guy or well see there's like a fine line because either if I say that he did something wrong they say she's playing the victim she's lying if I say he didn't do nothing wrong they're like oh she is a victim and she's trying to like hide it which no with like I said that incident he wasn't trying to hurt me but is incidents that happen after that I mean he had other intentions mm -hmm. so I mean I can definitely tell the difference between the two and I understand everyone's concern and I'm just glad that, you know, that relationship's done. You know, as a mother of two sons, what will you do to make sure that they never become abusive male figures in a relationship? I want them to see, I want them to learn from, I'm, I'm trying to teach them as well as I can from the relationship that I've been in, like, you know, if me or one of my exes broke up, you know, Jace, like even Jay said, Nathan was mean to you. And I saw that and he was really mean to you. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah, I know, I know, I know. And, and then he got, got to the point where Jace is like, I don't want to see Nathan. Is Nathan going to be around today? Because I don't want him to be. I just wanted to be me and you. So, I mean, it's like I'm trying to teach him the best way to grow up as a man with respect and at the same time, it's kind of like he's learning from my mistakes. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I try not to make those mistakes and try to teach him. But then again, he's like me. I learn from my mistakes. Yeah. So maybe he will learn from my mistakes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so you know, like, working, it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> and, and if Jace doesn't want to be around Nathan, you know, I'm not going to be like, well, we're seeing Nathan anyway. If Jace said, we're, I don't want to see Nathan today, I'd be like, okay. And I tell Nathan, hey, look, I'm going to do something. I didn't want to hurt his feelings, so I'd be like, oh, me and Jace are going to go do something by ourselves. Gotcha. So, Now, switching gears a little bit, um, you were recently in jail. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about that and what landed you there? Well, basically, you know, Nathan was coming over to pick up his filing cabinet that I left at the end of the driveway. And he know he, two other times he came over, he's brought her, and we had altercations. Who's her? The girlfriend. The girlfriend, the current girlfriend. So, you know, he knew not to bring her there. Well, then, you know, I told him, you can come get your things. And then when I got there, she was there. And I thought she was trying to attack me because she got out of the truck, came to my driveway. And, you know, I just was self-defending myself. My son was inside the house upstairs sleeping. And I was not comfortable with these people just coming to my house and this happening. But, you know it is what it is and the police didn't believe a word I say and they arrested me even though they came to my house so okay, so do you think that why did you think that she was trying to attack you she she got out of the car and she was she was like stepping towards me okay so and then she ended up throwing the glass at me afterwards and when I was walking away because the reports say that you threw glass so you, did, you have, oh you no, well glass, well so? when I when I sprayed the water on her my the glass from the condensation it literally slipped out of my hand. 
okay. And when I, after it happened, like it hit her head and then it landed in her lap. And then when it landed in her lap, I turned around to go back inside because I was like, oh my God. Because I didn't, I didn't mean, I didn't mean for it to happen. So then I was like, oh my God, I'm going to get in so much trouble. So then when I turned around and walked away, right. she picked up the glass and threw it at me. Oh, no. And I was like, I was surprised because I didn't think she was going to do that. So then I went inside the house and then Nathan's like, she came out and attacked her. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a reason why I didn't just go attack someone yeah. just to attack them. And isn't she like a quote unquote good girl? Like she's trying to be virgin before marriage and things like that? Or is that not yeah, Well, she said that she doesn't believe in sex before marriage. And I was like, so she's a virgin. And Nathan's like, no, she's been married before. I'm like, oh, uh, okay. Okay. So, so it's a loophole. Yeah, usually. And she goes out drinking all the time and okay. stuff, but she's a big Christian. Yeah. One of those. <laughs> um, so, you know, some people worry about, you know, all the rough times you've been through and your history of um, relationships. Do you ever consider counseling? I know you've kind of been in, in and out of counseling, right? Or Well, actually, I, I see a psychiatrist right now. Okay. And she prescribes me Zoloft for my depression, and I have general anxiety and panic disorder. So I get Zoloft, and I get Neurotin for panic attacks. Okay. So. And you, I, it seems like you're pretty stable right now at least from what I'm gathering. Yeah as long as like you know of course when people make you mad you see another side of a person that you've never seen before and Nathan gets me to that point every time and everyone's like wow when you're away from him you're like just so chill and I'm like I know I just I have nothing to worry about I have no one to worry about except my family. And um, as for Kayser uh, what what is the custody situation there? Are, are, is, is he, are you share 50-50 with Nathan, or is he in full custody with you? Right now, in the state of South Carolina, when a child is born, the mother has full custody until the father decides to take it to court. So as of right now, I have full custody of Kaiser, and I moved like two hours away. Okay. And Nathan, um, you know, he's been asking to see Kaiser, but um, I told him, I said, you know, after I get back from L.A., I said, you can see him. And I was like, why don't you, you know, especially after the incident, what happened in between me and him and his girlfriend, I don't want his girlfriend coming around. And, you know, I'm just, I'm trying, I told him, I'm like, why don't you watch him during the VMAs? And he's just like, no. Hmm. So it's like, even when I do give him the opportunity to see Kaiser, it's like, only, it's his way or no way. Okay. And is, where's Kaiser now? He's with um, my friend actually right now. Okay. N- not anywhere near Nathan. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there were, are, are some rumors online right now that you created a fake Ashley Madison account to make Nathan look like yeah. a cheater. Is that true, or do you actually have one? Tell me a little bit about well, that. Well, first of all, I had, you know, I had a tabloid message me and goes, is this Nathan's email? Mm-hmm. And I thought, and I know that email, so I'm like, uh, what, did he email you? Is he selling me out? Yeah. And they're like, no, actually, we just found it linked to Ashley Madison. Huh. So they're the ones who told me. And I had no idea about it. Okay. But then his friend Josh and everyone is, Nathan's friend Josh is like, oh, she made it, da-da-da. They're like, oh, yeah, when Janelle found out about this, she made this account and linked it. Yeah, sure. No, that was his email because he got locked out of his Gmail, so he made a Yahoo. Okay. So.